Hey everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Secret of Mana. Now you may notice that since the last time we're no longer in the Water Temple, we're in the Dwarf Village again. Well, I basically raised up all my weapon levels and magic levels again. Um, and you raise your uh, magic levels the same way you do your weapons, simply by using your magic spells. Now, of course, you're a bit more limited. Um, since you have to rely on your MP and it runs out pretty quickly at this stage in the game uh, so I recommend definitely going to um, the water palace and just going in and out of that area use your attack magic on the ifish that are outside even though they're strong against it and then use um, the girls healing magic um, inside the inside the temple Anyway, in order to get by this lava lake here, we're going to use the freeze magic spell on this orb. And then, as you can see, the lava dries up and we're free to go. And now we're in the Earth Shrine. We got a couple new enemies. Uh, the Goblin and the Maw Goblin. Now, you want to get rid of the pink ones, which are the Maw Goblins, as soon as you can. Uh, because they will um, spawn the blue ones. And before we continue on, I just want to fix one thing. Since I'm not raising their weapon levels, oops, I want them to be more, uh, my allies to be more aggressive. And just in case I have to switch leadership roles, I'll set my hero character up there as well they just make things a lot easier if they do it now as you can see there's a torch blocking the way here we're gonna come over to here you can take out this chest knight they're pain though because they they got a pretty high defense and they're very fast so they tend to avoid a lot of your attacks they're rather annoying actually so it takes a little bit of doing to get rid of them and you constantly have to be on your toes. Ugh, now there's two of them. Alright, let's just move on for a second. Get rid of that. And we got a, another green drop here. Get rid of him quickly. Come down here, press this switch. There's two switches we need to uh, get that one and then we have another one on the other side Oops, let's go down where you're supposed to go hit that you'll hear the sound we'll come back up here and the torch is gone alright now this bridge you can make it appear and disappear by hitting those uh, opposite switches and here's another maw goblin let's get it quick and we didn't get it quick enough. As you can see, the enemies in here are quite a bit stronger. There we go. That's more like it. Ugh. Don't hit me. And let's keep on going. And they wake up faster. A, a lot faster than the other goblins used to. Oh! Shot me! Try to keep them bunched up together as much as possible so you can hit them um, in one shot. Whoop, we got a green drop here. Don't attack it when it's invincible. Well, it's not technically invincible, it just can't be. Well, I guess that does mean it's invincible. Oh, I don't know. Never mind. Anyway, let's continue on. Again, keep up the offensive on these guys. Don't let them rest. And we're almost at the end of this area. Got a couple more chest knights here, but I'm going to skip by them. The goblins aren't too terribly hard, but the the chest knights can be a real pain. So if you can, just, just skip them. This is the stage room. Oh, well, hello there. You can't barge in here. We gnomes won't allow it. 
What a windbag, little brat. And the Sprite and the Gnome are fighting. How awesome. Take this. This is an outrage. Uh, uh oh, I'm out of here. That can't be good. Look, back there. Ah, it's the Fire Gigas. Well, fortunately, we have a good strategy here. This is a strategy you can use against pretty much any boss. Um, just keep up the offensive with the magic. As soon as the uh, spirit disappears, uh, hit the button again and cast the spell one more time. And while they're doing that, you can continue to attack him. And as you can see, he never even... Well, I guess he just did kind of get a spell off, but we never got hit. It was no trouble at all. It's kind of a cheap way to do it, but... Um, also, to note, make sure that if you're going to do this later on in the game, um, if you do it too much, they can only take up to 999 damage. Um, so if you continually do that, then um, you may end up wasting a lot of magic points, and you may not have any left um, to do damage to it. So only do it a few times in a row uh, once you start racking up the damage. But for right now, just unload on them. Anyway, here's the gnome. Phew, thanks. That oaf was always bugging me. Forgive me. I used you to get some relief. Don't serve me, and maybe I'll forgive you. Otherwise, I'll throw you to my servant, Trombi. I no, let me be your servant. Hey, who are you calling a servant? That is an that was an awesome question. I, I would actually like to know the answer to that myself. But uh, anyway, uh, call me anytime, anywhere. Now close your eyes. You're not gonna run, are you? You're not gonna steal our our money, are you? No. Okay, cool. Both you and your wife may summon me. What? Me? Married to that? I like your style, gnome. <laughs> well, that's that. Be seeing ya. And now we got... The gnome's powers! To the mana seed! So just come up here, touch the mana seed with the main character. And we received the seed's power, so now we can charge up our magic all the way up to level 2. Um, which I'll be doing between now and the next episode. Hey, Absol! And Absol decides she's gonna touch the seed. And she hurts her head. Are you okay? Oh! What's wrong? I can remember everything now. We live in the Upperland Forest. You've got to take me there. I'll let you hang out with me until we arrive. Huh, what a treat. Well, at least now we know where to go with the sprite. Let's go ahead and use the magic rope. Get on out of here. Exit. Well, that wasn't too bad. Um, again, the chest knights are probably the uh, most annoying thing in, in that dungeon. And they, the enemies are pretty strong in there, but... You know, it's not too bad. Anyway, we're going to come in here, we're going to heal up, and I'm going to recharge some of my stuff. Next time on Secret of Mana, we'll continue on to Pandora and see what's going on over there. See you next time.